Okay. Hello, everybody. It's me, Aisha, again with Elise. Aisha Elise. Do a quick, quick, quick pouring of some dominoes with the silver glitter flakes. I'm just going to do a clear layer first and drop some flakes in it. And then we'll come back to part two later on. I already got my resin mix, so it's ready to go. It's going to pour. I dusted this mold with baby powder. I just sprinkled it on it. Took this paintbrush and just kind of sprinkled it around and all of them. Then I turned the mold over and I just patted it and let all the baby ex excess baby powder fall out. Um, I've been told that this helps with bubbles. This is my first time trying it like this, so we're going to see how it goes. No, I do not use syringes. I just kind of eyeball it because I don't want a lot. Just kind of cover the bottom because I want the front to be clear. That's pretty much all I do. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and pour uh, blue on top of these. Blue and gray, actually. We're gonna do the dots in white. I probably don't have enough resin, but I'll mix up more. to do a little quick video just kind of show you how I do the flakes. Just pouring it in, covering the bottom. That's it. I'll go ahead and do what I have, and then I'll mix more resin, but you won't have to sit and watch through all of that. This is four ounces of resin. This is a jumbo domino mold. You can get these on my website, AishaElise.com. Sorry I sound muffled, but I do have on my PPE mask. I need to protect myself from all the chemicals. I'm a messy crafter too, so sorry. I make a mess all the time. Almost gonna make it, but we won't quite make it to the end. Not gonna have enough. Sorry, had to grab a pop to the stick. A tongue depressor. 
Anyway, that's what we have so far. I'll fill these up later. Take your heat gun and try to pop these bubbles. Probably won't get every single bubble, but for the most part. And this heat gun is just a little one from Joanne's. Um, I forgot to tell y'all at first, but these flakes are from Hobby Lobby. They're just regular old silver glitter flakes. Nothing fancy. My resin that I use um, is KS Resin Liquid Art Ultra UV Epoxy. That's what I use. I use my little metal stirring stick. I reuse it over and over and over again. These little plastic cups come from Dollar General, about 100 of them in a pack for a dollar or two, maybe. And of course, the baby powder that I use is just regular old Johnson Johnson's baby powder. Nothing fancy at all. So here's we go we're gonna put some of these flakes in a little cup because i don't want to get them everywhere they're very messy oh well it might help if i take the top off there we go i don't want very many because i'm kind of gonna be poking them down with the, a toothpick Here we go. Just gonna drop a few of them in. Not very many. I'll just take my finger and, and drop them in. You don't really want them to go through to the front because you don't want them to mess up the, the dots, or like get in the way of them or anything like that. You can probably pour these in, I guess. I don't know. I just do stuff the hard way because I'm crazy. Yeah, let me just drop a few of them in. Like I said, we're gonna come back tomorrow and cover, do our second layer of blue and a mix of gray. Gonna make them kind of two-tone. But you don't want a whole lot. You want to be able to see this little stuff in it to make it look like something, but it doesn't take a whole lot. And here we use my little toothpick. I'm just kind of 
push them down a little bit. I don't push them down very far, but if you want to move them around, you got like some little pieces that won't really lay down. And I don't really have to lay down because like I said, you're going to pull another layer on the top anyway, so I just kind of push the stuff away from the edges. I don't really like it on the edges because it might cause bubbles. But looks like they're all pretty good. So, well, thanks for watching. We'll come back with part two tomorrow. Have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe um, to our page. Check our website, and I'll put a link uh, to all the products used in the description below. Thanks. Bye. Hello, everybody. We're back with part two. I'm Aisha with Aisha Elise, and we're going to pour layer number two on our jumbo dominoes. I've already poured my epoxy, so I'm just going to mix my colors. Hope everybody's having a good day today. And, of course, I will, if you missed the first video, I will also link um, the items that I'm using in the description below so that um, you all can get these items if you need, need them. I mixed enough epoxy today so I won't have to mix any more but I rather over mix than under mix but I have my two cups I'm gonna put gray paint in one and blue paint in the other again like I stated in the first video I dusted this mold with baby powder to see about the trick that everybody says it does well with getting rid of the bubbles around the edges. So we shall see. I'm using these um, navy blue, Anita acrylic paint, and charcoal gray, Anita acrylic paint. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I had them forever. But I'm gonna put a squirt of navy blue one squirt is all I put. I'll add later if I need to, but I'm gonna mix and see if that will work. Well, okay. I am using tongue depressor popsicle sticks for this. I usually don't use them because they do create bubbles. But I'm using it today. I don't think my little one squirt is going to be enough. So we're going to do one more. It's still see-through. And you definitely don't want it see-through on your dominoes. So let's get one more squirt of blue. And we'll mix it up and see what we get. You really don't like need to use a lot of acrylic paint because acrylic paint for some reason will cause your dominoes to be bendy if you use too much. And you don't want that. Especially if you're making these supposed to be true domino players. They want to be slapping them all over the table and everything else. That's still kind of see-through. So we're going to add another squirt. And it is a lot of epoxy, so you usually just have like a little ounce. I think this is three ounces. One more squirt. I wanted to make sure I had enough to finish this video. Well, that's three squirts and it's still a little transparent. We're going to go with four. Uh-oh. Dried up paint in the way. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Come on, four. I'm 
I was gonna use my blue dye, but it's like not the right color blue that I'm looking for. I'm looking for more like this navy blue. My dye is more of a royal blue. So that's a little better. It's still see-through, but once we get our decals on, maybe it won't be so bad. All right, let's check out this gray. I only have one squirt in there so far. And I know that's not gonna be enough. No. Alright, so let's go back with the gray. We end up with four in that one, so let's just do uh -uh. two. I do not want to get this all over my hand, but that looks like a string of dried up paint. We do not want that in our dominoes. Three, four. All right, let's try that. Hope everybody can hear me. Of course, I am wearing my PPE mask, so full mask. Trying to stay safe, but I also like for you all to hear me. still kind of see through. I think I'm gonna have to add more. I hope it doesn't make them all bendy. But it is a lot of poppy so one, two. Oops. And yes my workspace is messy. Another thing to try to paint. Nothing clean about me crafting at all. I try not to rush, but I have to take my daughter to dance class, and I'm sure she'll be busting in my shop door at any given moment. putting a full decal on the back of these anyway so let's get the pouring see what we got not gonna say what kind of dominoes I'm making but I'm pretty sure you can probably tell by my colors so but anyway here we go I just pour one color at the top, and then I pour another color at the bottom, and I let them meet in the middle. That's pretty much all I do. That's what it's doing. It's blowing me. I don't fill it up because I got to put my decal on, and I got to put another layer in there as well. Some people use syringes, I don't. I just eyeball it. I'm throwing them away anyway, so. But you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. Like I said, it's nothing fancy to it. Don't be terrified of the two colors. Just go for it. I promise I'm still not a pro at this. But I have noticed if I don't pour a whole lot, when they meet in the middle, they don't mix as much. Like, if I just overflow it and they just kind of do their own thing in the middle, and I don't really like that when it does that, but 
me. You kind of don't have control over this. Once you pour, it's going to do whatever it wants to do. You can pour more than one at a time if you're fast enough to catch it before it just completely covers the entire domino. You may be faster than me. I'm not that fast. a little bit more gray. But they're fun to make. Very addicting though. You catch yourself making them and then when you start getting older you're going to get tired of them. You just feel like you eat, live, and breathe pouring dominoes. make messes a lot. That one's going to do what I don't want it to do. It's going to overpower the gray. But I pour it too much in that one. Almost done. I hope we make it. Hope I have enough. I think we will. Yay. Sorry, I'm excited. I never pour enough. Like never ever. I also recommend let them sit before you hit them with the heat gun because then you're really going to mix the color. So just let them sit for a few minutes before you hit the heat gun on them. Pour it too much gray and then you come with quite fast enough. We made it! So now all we're going to do is wait for these to dry i'll come back add my decals and i pour a clear layer over the top of them 
And I may even drop a couple of more little pieces of silver. I don't know. But I think they're pretty, pretty good. Once I get the decals on, I think it'll be fine. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three. I promise you I'm going to post all three at one time, so you're going to have to wait. I'm very bad about editing videos on time, so I'm going to do this one. Part one, part two, part three, I'm posting all at the same time, so you will have all three. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Remember to like our page, subscribe to our page. Um, our website is www.aishaelise.com. We do molds, we do shirts, we do tumblers, we do it all. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Aisha Elise LLC. Um, I'll put links to everything. We're also doing a giveaway on our Facebook page. So check there because you may be the lucky winner. But again, thanks for watching and um, leave me a comment. I answer all comments. I can't say it'll be the same day, but I answer every single one of them. Leave me some tips, any ideas you have, things, things you think I should have done different. Hey, let me know. I'm open to everything. So have a good day. Thanks, y'all. I am late starting this video. I totally thought I hit the, the record button. So I've been sitting here talking to myself for a while. But this is my third step in the um, two-color jumbo dominoes and i am adding my decals then i'm just gonna pour a clear layer over the top and um then they'll be ready so here is just regular old transfer tape that i get from us cutter it's just r tape i believe it's medium tack not really anything special about it but i just put it i just cut them out on my cricut um, my measurements, I uh, will put those in the comments because I do not remember exactly what they are. But I will put it in the comments. But I just put it on my transfer paper. And I just kind of, once I get my good measurements, just press it on down in there. And just pull off your transfer paper and just make sure your decal is down really good. All right, so I just stick it on. Rub it down really good. My little squeegee looking varnishing tool, whatever they call it. And let's see if it's stuck. And then we will stick it on our dominoes. Do the same thing for the next one. I just eyeball it. I'm not one that's going to get this measuring tape out every single time to make sure the C is point whatever from one end and the S is point whatever from the other end. I, no, I'm not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> If any of my customers want to take a measuring tape and say, hey, that C is not as close to the end of the domino as that other C, then they can go right ahead. But I don't think anybody's going to do that. But this is mainly it. I'm just getting it cut out. You can use your Cricut Silhouette or whatever cutting machine you may have. A lot of people cut decals out by hand um, when they do like a sticker or something on the back. Um, just make sure if you use a sticker or something that's like doesn't have like a little bit of a seal on the top, just kind of seal it a little bit with something because you don't want it to the picture to bleed 
onto your dominoes because then you will probably have to pour a whole new set. And you, you all know how hard it is to match colors once you've already mixed them. But this is pretty much it. Just make sure you um, leave comments if you have any questions at all. I'll be glad to answer any, any questions. Um, I'm going to be doing another video on pouring a three color domino next. So make sure you all like this video, subscribe to our page, turn those notifications on. So you will be notified when I post a new video. I really enjoy making these now. I used to hate them. Oh, that one looks thick. Because I am very country and I'm from Mississippi. So yeah, a lot of people talk about how country I talk. But anyway, last decal going on. And we are done. So like I said, have any questions, just leave me a comment. Um, I do answer those, but like and subscribe. And let us know if you like to see a video that I have not done yet. I will do my best to make it. And also check out our other videos. We do have tutorials on how to make the actual mold from start to finish. Um, I have tutorials on how to color the molds. Um, I have coaster tutorials, so just about anything that you can do with resin, I will pretty much either already have it on there or it's coming soon. So stay tuned, but thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Bye.